Alright, what's up family? This is Scott Conrad again with another episode of Organic Cali. Welcome to my kitchen once again. I just cleaned it up just for you guys. It's been a long week, but it's been an amazing week. That's one thing about San Diego, it's just there's so much to do all the time to balance the work and life. If you play too much, you can't pay the bills. And you gotta pay the bills to live here. This was one of those weeks. I had so much fun. I went to Mexico with some amazing friends. We got an Airbnb. We scored some amazing uncrowded waves. Um, it was really, <laughs> it was really funny. Like usually when I go down to Mexico, I just eat so much meat that, you know, it's kind of ridiculous, but this was the first time I went to Mexico. Well, second time I went to Mexico being vegetarian, but um, first time for like a few days. And so I thought it was going to be a little more trying than it was, but actually everything worked out so perfectly. And after the weekend was over, I didn't feel like, ugh, ugh, so tired. You know, we don't even have to talk about the time on the toilet because that's, you all, you all know that. But I felt lighter, had more energy. I'll just give you one story. It's a pretty good one. We went to this taco shop right near the surf break and uh, basically everybody eats meat there. What's the best option for vegetarian food that I'm going to find? So I thought these tortas, you know, a torta is like a Mexican sandwich. It has a big piece of toasted bread and usually they throw carne asada, like guacamole, salsa fresca, beans, or whatever. You know, it's a Mexican sandwich. So I was like, hey, let me get a, a veggie torta. And the guy that was making it, he was like, what? Okay. I was like, no meat. Just veggies. He's like, okay. So once he finally comprende what I was saying, he hooked it up so fat. He put like frijoles that were these beans that were stewed, probably, you know, some family recipe. I had some guacamole, some salsa fresca, onions, cilantro. This thing was amazing. I should have taken a picture of it. It was so funny because the guy serving it to me, at first he was like, this guy is a weirdo, he doesn't eat meat. But after he got done making it, and organic Cali style, you know how I always throw so many ingredients, he got done making it and he was like, like he almost didn't want to give it to me because it looks so amazing. He was like, muy bueno, muy bueno. So, And I'm glad I got to plant a little seed and you know, maybe he, is going to eat veggie for the next couple days and you know that might spark something I don't know maybe not but the short time I've been doing this channel you know YouTube is a slow start to get things going I've already got a lot of positive feedback and I know I've made a little differences in some people's lives and that's all that matters I'm trying to make the world better and I know that's a difficult task and it's going to take a long time so I'm cool with just getting little tidbits as I go. But when I get feedback from people that enjoy what I'm doing, it's, it's amazing. Sometimes you gotta go out there and try for it, but most times you just have to let it come to you. When the timing is right, everything is gonna come to you that you need. You might not get everything you want, but you're definitely gonna get everything you need. Work on yourself, your mind, body, in the kitchen, your soul, just the more you raise your vibration, these things that you want are just gonna start flowing your way. I'm gonna stand by that because in my life, I've wanted things so badly and then I'm, I wondered why they weren't coming to me and then I worked on some other aspects of my life and then they came. Physical yoga is a great thing for this quote because every time I want to learn a new pose, I look at somebody's Instagram 
or see somebody in reality doing it. And I'm like, how can I do that? And I think I'm not going to be able to do it for years. And then I just work on some other things like handstands, work on stretching your wrist. And then I just kept on practicing. And before I knew it, I was doing handstands for a minute. And I was like, whoa, I thought that was going to take some time. I just put the work in and every aspect of my life, you know, everything you put in your body, everything you do every second of the day is going to help you in every other second of the day. So be conscious all the time and the things that you want will come to you. If you want a girl and you wonder why she doesn't want you, because you probably are not on her level yet. If she's a level above you, you at least have to get that level if you want a chance. So I've been in relationships throughout my life and I've learn so much from them, but I've realized what I want in the future, I'm not there yet. I'm gonna work on myself, and once I'm at that level, it's gonna come. And it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful day. All right, let's throw it up. Let things come to you, but you have to do the work. You just can't lay around on the couch and expect things to come to you. Things come to you, but you have to do the work first. Let things come to you, but you have to put the work in first. But you have to put the work in first. Nothing is easy in this life. I don't want things to be easy. If it's easy, then it's not as enjoyable when you finally get it. Hard work pays off. No pain, no gain. Let things come to you, but put in the work to get those things. And when the timing is perfectly right, that's when the things come to you. Cheers, guys.